the chance. After his crash at Saturday's qualifying, Spanish pilot Hector Lopez and his team worked all night to get their boat ready for Sunday morning's qualifying race and their last chance for one of the five remaining starting positions for the Portuguese Grand Prix. But a small mistake, firing the engine before the red lights turned off, led to a one-lap penalty what destroyed all efforts of the previous night. Without the jump start, Lopez would have qualified for the final spot on the grid because Austrian Rup Temper, finishing the qualifying race third, also jumped the start and also missed to qualify after getting a one-lap penalty. Best of the rest. Again, after winning the qualifying race in Norway, Calavipo crossed the finish line first in Portugal as well, winning the qualifying race in front of Steve Holt and Mette Bjergnes. Race Facts It's the third time the Formula 2 Grand Prix of Portugal takes place in Bayao at River Douro. 28 pilots entered this fourth round of the 2018 championship. 20 boats qualified for the 45-lap Grand Prix at this 1.76km race course, with four right and one left-hand turns. Start of the race 20 boats were lined up on the starting pontoon, heading into this Portuguese Grand Prix with Rashid Al-Kemzi on pole position. But all eyes were on boat number 7, Alberto Comparato, the championship leader, who only qualified 6th, but already in turn 3, almost disaster struck when Comparato and Daniel Segenmark touched and both spun out. The race was stopped, so lucky Comparato returned to his original start position for the restart. Only Segenmark had to retire after this accident. Losing ground Just before the lights turned off for the restart, a mistake cost second in the championship to be Asmintikas all chances when the Norwegian fired his engine too early, resulting in a one-lap penalty. On water, Mintikas finished fourth, but adopting a lap means he not only drops back to tenth, also in the championship he loses his second spot and drops down to a disappointing fourth position in the overall standings. Battle of the Year The second start went much better for championship leader Alberto Comparato. The Italian kept his fifth spot right behind victory pilot Alex Carella and chased by US pilot Brand Dillard. Throughout the entire Grand Prix, the fight for position 5 was the race of the year so far. When Dillard closed the gap to Comparato and tried to find a way to pass the Italian. Again and again Dillard tried hard, but every time Comparato found the right answer to stay in front of boat number 8. In turn 3, Dillard got to the inside, both almost side by side, but still, Comparato managed to stay in front. I've never had that much fun racing. I mean, it was for 45 laps. It was in, out, in, out. And I was watching Corella's line and Alberto's line and trying to find somewhere for me to fit in. It was just fun. That was so much fun. But it got even better when in the second half of the race, Comparato even closed the gap to Corella on fourth, making this a three-boat battle for positions now. Dillard still trying hard to make a move on Comparato, while the Italian trying to get past Corella. It was close racing to the finish line, with Dillard still trying everything on the final meters to get that fifth spot. At the end, Carella finishes fourth and Comparato kept Dillard behind, finishing on fifth, Dillard sixth. It was fun, but I think about the championship, so I could overtake Alex, but I didn't take the risk. And Comparato's race paid off. Scoring seven points secures Comparato's championship lead with only one more possible race to come in Sri Lanka in December. Yeah, it is okay because I take the points and We'll see if uh, there is Sri Lanka or no, because we still don't know. Getting closer. With Tobias Mintikas only finishing 10th in Portugal, Edgaras Ryabko was one of the big winners of the Portuguese Grand Prix. 
Miapko starting third, passed Duart Benavente right at the beginning. Throughout the whole race, it looked like Riapko would have an easy run and finishing on the podium again. When in the final laps, his engine got problems, so Benavente took back the second spot in the race. Somehow, Riapko managed to save his third spot across the finish line. It feels really very good. It was very tough because Duarte was in the back of me all the time and I was second and when seven laps left, I finished only on five cylinders, so it was very hard seven laps because it was not easy to drive on five cylinders. So I lost one position, but I'm still on the podium, so I'm very happy. After not finishing in Tonsberg, this is the second Grand Prix podium for the Lithuanian pilot in 2018. Perfect weekend. No doubt that Abu Dhabi pilot Rashid Alkamzi had a perfect run here in Portugal. First in practice, first in Q1, first in Q2 and getting pole in Q3. Now, when the red lights turned off, it was of course Al Kamsi being first at the first turn and leading the Grand Prix of Portugal. And it came clear pretty soon that there was nobody to beat Al Kamsi today. The Emirati could build up a comfortable gap to second to Art Benavente and manage his lead till the checkered flag even though the lighter boat at the end of the race caused some balance problems. In the few laps when I have the fuel is uh, down, uh, it was a little difficult for me, but uh, I made a very gap between me and the second. It was good. And they, uh, in the two laps, I was going, uh, not pushing hard, going slowly, you know. It was good. So now it's Al Kamsi who moved up incredible seven places in the championship. From eighth to second and all of a sudden, with one race to come, Al Kamsi still has a slight chance for the title, being 18 points behind leader Alberto Comparato. Wow, wow, wow.